guys and happy Sunday on today's video I'm just gonna do a vlog looking like Kunta Ross just like you like it and I'm just gonna randomly talk about stuff I know I want to talk about this ORS moisturizing oil lotion guys I don't know this doesn't really do what I need it to do it's not oily enough you know I like me some grease guys so it ain't got that juicy oil and it's like my motions moisturizer this one's a little bit more juicy and oily so we're gonna do a comparison this is what my hair looks like outside now I did I did a video yesterday it was a 33 minute video and the whole video was blurry so I'll probably attach it to this video I call them bonus videos when something don't go right or I don't, I don't like the footage so the footage is very very blurry but you can still hear me and I'm outside taking my braids down it was it was a nice it was gonna be a nice video so I'll probably attach it to the end for those who don't mind looking at blurriness you really can't see the shine and the lust maybe because I used water in my hair yesterday but it's time for a shampoo and we're gonna do a comparison on those two products guys I have been organizing my basement all I have to do is just go straight to where I need to go and I finally got a little spot to where I can call this my beauty room I got this three-way mirror right here that I look a hot mess in <laughs> can you see it back there there it is right there I finally got this little area right here to where I can feel like I can get pretty beautified and right here is my nail station I had it on the other side of the room there goes my mirror again that's what Kunta looks like in the mirror Lord Jesus help our body I put the little flower right here to give it like a little flare so here's where I can blow dry my hair and maybe do some um, videos on my hair have a better look at scenery that's my bathroom right there I just, I just love this picture right here. I was thinking if I close that door and do my little hair like right here in this area, it might look nice. I don't know, guys. When you are decluttering and, and trying to get stuff organized, you don't realize how stuff is so dirty. This basement is so dirty. So I got to get some soap and water and a great big bucket and just get the washing and stuff. So I'm pretty much happy about how I got my basement set up. All I got to do is go over there and work out with my videotapes. Got my television right there. And I got this little area right here. This little pretty little area. So if I want to sit down and watch television, I can sit down in comfort. That ORS moisturizer, I don't know about it, guys. We got to, we got to, we got to, have to, I'm about to shampoo my hair and deep condition it and really, really, really uh, experiment with that lotion because it feels like lotion. It, feel, it feels like a humectant. And humectants are um, things that bring draw moisture to your hair it kind of like remind me of my what is this here wave nouveau moisturizer this is great for the summertime but when it gets cold outside guys my hair feel like a brick it feels like a brick and for some reason i don't know i'm getting the same kind of feel so we're gonna we're gonna dive into ingredients and really really get into what's going on with this because i don't know if i like it right now and i don't want to say i don't like it because it was my first time using it here goes my punching bag right here what you say? This is what I be want to do. Punch him in the face. Punch him. Oh, guys, sorry about that. Sometimes you might see a pillow in my videos that sit on my chair. It match matches this picture right here. This is going to go in my bathroom. I got the shower curtain too to go with that picture. Here goes another bathroom. Another bathroom picture right here. And I'm pretty excited how I got my basement because I can come down here and do my hair. I can come down here and record a video. I can come down here and do whatever without having to set up stuff. But this is my shower curtain to that picture I just showed you. Can you see it, girl? Here it is, right here. There goes my shower curtain right there. Bring it on down. I know one of you guys told me, I got that same pillow, Nancy. I got the same pillow. It is such a beautiful day. Shay Shay's out here looking like a deadbeat because we went for a ride yesterday we went for a long ride and we hung out with friends and honey whenever she gets to be around my friends and go for a long ride she be worn out there she go Shay Shay hello girl she ain't barked or did nothing today the whole day yeah I'm gonna start doing more vlogs hopefully I don't look like Kunta Ross on all my vlogs I'm just happy with my with my with my basement all I gotta do is just work it out I gotta get this Ooh, I gotta get myself together. I look rough. I don't like the way I look. But yeah, I'm gonna post this video and I'm gonna get back down here and continue setting up my basement the way I want it. I like it. I could just go work out. Then right there in that little area, I can do my videos to have a better backdrop. 
All right, guys, so here goes my second studio. This is the one down in my basement. My main studio is upstairs. I can just come on down here and just get to recording. I don't have to really think about much. Everything is gonna be set up. Here goes a microphone I've never used. You get so excited about buying all this equipment and you don't even use it. I have not used that microphone yet, but that's the Blue Yeti. This Blue Yeti, you're supposed to hook it up to your computer and let the microphone work for you, but I have not been having good luck with that. Here's my workstation right here, my computer and desktop. And there goes my little calendar. I've been doing pretty good, guys, with filling up my calendar. Normally, my calendar don't, calendar don't be filled up. But you can't really see because the shadow is blocking. But I've been posting out, po posting videos a lot more lately. I don't know if you noticed or not. So, yeah, guys, I hope you like this little vlog style video. Uh, stay tuned for the blurry video. If you can, if you can watch through the blurry video, uh, that's good. If you can, I understand. That's why it's going to be at the end of this video, and it's a 33-minute video. I'm like, man, I wish this video wasn't blurry, but usually like i said if it's a video that i make that doesn't really look that good for some reason to me then i will attach it at the end or if it's not doing well i'll i'll attach it to the end of another video to make it a longer video and for those who don't really mind my flaws okay so all right kunta hey guys ross is about to sign Saturday, out girl Saturday. i am outside in my backyard i'm about to take down these braids i decided to come outside and record a video because i don't like the lighting in my house i don't feel like being in my uh big studio and i said you know what let's come outside since it's a beautiful day i'm going to take this water right here and i got a couple of clamps to section my hair and i have a pick and a comb and i have a towel sitting right here too so just in case it gets a little wet around here i get to you know dry myself off now hopefully my Neighbors don't notice how ghetto I'm being right now, but I don't know if this is ghetto or not, but whatever. So what I'm going to do is uh, clamp my hair like this and just go through sections and take down my braids. I think I had these braids in for about ah three or four weeks, something like that. And yeah, I'm going to take these braids down. I don't know where Shay Shay is. But when she doesn't hear me for a while, she'll go, she's going to come out that door. If she don't hear me for a while, she'll come out. But, yeah. So, guys, I have on my little Saturday shirt or my shirt that I do my hair with. Guys, if you have a natural hair shirt, every time you do your hair, and you put your little favorite shirt on, I got like three or four of them. Yeah, send them to me in my email. I'll put my email address on here. And then I'll show your shirts and stuff and how you look in your shirt in an uh, upcoming video, not the next one, but in an upcoming video. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to show your face. All right, so I got one braid down. Hope you don't mind me being, up, <laughs> being in my backyard. Also, I got a little funny uh, list going on. I got my retainer on and my teeth. Ouch. That's why a tooth comb hurts. Just, this water is warm. Actually, it's hot, but by the time it missed out, it's cooled off. I know my neighbors are gonna be looking like, "What is that lady doing in her backyard?" Don't worry about what we're doing. We got we we. This all look. They don't need to know what's going on. So I think I got about six or seven plaits, and I'm taking my wide tooth comb and just going through the hair. So that, here goes my pick. Ow! Because you know how kinky hair does? It gets sort of combative. And yeah, if you're tender headed like me, you don't want to be in pain. Woo! So I try to make sure I have my hair all the way detangled before I go to the next section. That way I'll have the job complete. Each section complete as I go. These birds are really chirping. It's around 12, 15 or 12, 30 in the afternoon. Ow! When you have kinky, <laughs> kinky spots, you just take your little fingers and separate the hair. You don't wanna break your hair. So yeah, guys, we are moving, ow! We are moving along. I see why people don't do videos outside because it's so noisy. 
but I thought maybe this would be a little bit relatable because sometimes we do be outside with all this noise. And luckily no one's cutting their grass right now. I want to cut my grass because it looks real crazy. I might cut it to this evening or Monday or something. I try not to do my grass on the weekend. I don't want to do no hair on the weekend. I don't want to do no hair on the weekend. I don't want to cut no grass on the weekend. All I want to do is go have fun or do nothing, either or. I think it's about 75 degrees right now. So it's definitely a good day to come outside and just be in the mix. Ow! This is the bad thing about leaving your hair braided for a long time. But actually I did detangle my hair, I think two times uh, with these braids. I think so. I think so. And it's still mad up. And guys, I do blow dry my hair and I flat iron my hair and everything. My hair will still kink up. This is not fun, guys. It was a beautiful breeze going on. It was uh, kind of warm yesterday. And then I came outside like at five or six in the evening. It was cool. I turned that fan. I turned my uh, air off yesterday. And let them windows open. Got me some fresh air. Let the air. Uh oh, I think I hear a shake. Let that cool air um, go through the house. Give it a nice smell. See, I told you. There she go. Y'all see Shay Shay right there? There goes my neighbor. Look at her. She can't, She just cannot let me be. I cannot ever have a moment without Shay Shay in my mix. Ever. Never, 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 never. She got always got. She always got to come and check out the scene. Mm -hmm. So I'm still <laughs> messing around with this same section. Cause like I said, I want to get this section all the way detangled before I go to the next section. So I think we're getting somewhere. Alright, so I got that Finally detangled. Just gonna twist it. Don't wanna twist it, cause it seems like when I twist it after I detangle, it begin right back. Tangle back up. So I'm just gonna clamp this right now. Hey little birdie, no it's singing. What you singing about little birdie? Nah, I'm gonna twist it. I'm just gonna twist it loose. Then I'm gonna shampoo my hair and go to the next episode with my hair. This is my short side. <laughs> That's okay. It's just hair. I'm gonna grow back, right? All right. So let's go to this one over here. I don't need to put a clamp over there. So yep, we're gonna go to this section. You know what be killing me is uh, I'll be saying, you know what? I'm taking these braids down real fast. It shouldn't be really hard to detangle. When you get up in the upper crust of them braids and twist, yeah, it, it'd be kind of matted in between and stuff. What are you doing, Shay Shay? What are you doing, Shay Shay? you need water all the time to detangle that's probably why it's kinking up because I'm adding water to it ow but it doesn't matter whatever I do is gonna hurt <laughs> it is going to hurt because I am tender headed
Oh, so we just separate. Should have separated first before I even try to run a, a comb through it. You know what, guys? I hate staying next to a vacant house because it looks so bad. But then again, at the same time, kind of happy I'm staying next to a vacant house. That way I don't have to be annoyed by neighbors. But sometimes your neighbors will get on your nerves. The last neighbor boy I had. Woo! Boy, it's, it was a trip. And I got some new neighbors on the other side of me now. Actually, I got two new neighbors. But my neighbors on the right, they're really cool and nice. I like them. My other neighbors just moved in about a week ago. They're going to be barbecuing on the front of the house. I'm like, oh. Y'all need to stop barbecuing on the front of the house. I guess it, don't, it doesn't look so bad if you're in your, kind of like by your garage. Uh... But like if you just straight up on the front porch, I'm going to need for you to uh, go sit down somewhere with your barbecue grill. So, yeah, they was really kind of like in the dry, in their garage, in the where the entrance of the garage is. So th it didn't look too bad. But anytime you got a barbecue grill in a, a patio, a patio, um, what's the thing when you have the patio and the seats in the front yard? With a, with a basketball, <laughs> a basketball hoop thing in the front. Oh my goodness. You'd be like, oh, what's really going on? You're probably saying, well, Nancy, I got a barbecue grill in the front of my house. I'll be barbecuing. Uh huh. I'm looking at you. Like, what is you doing over there, neighbor? You're looking real country, I must say. So we got this section. I always want to start with the ends first, then work your way up. Same old, same old. Oh, this section's not so out. Wait a minute, let me take it back. That back section. It's something. Ow! More water, please. When are you drying out my water? Guys, I don't know if you like this kind of style video. But every once in a while, I'll change it up a little bit. Because, ow, I don't be in a mood for certain ways. All right, let me check and see. Let me check and see first. Ow. Yeah, that's all the way detangled. I should have brought out a uh, mirror so I can really see. That's okay. We're going to wing it through this little viewfinder. What you looking at, Mr. Truck? Have you ever wondered what happened to some YouTubers? How they just stop posting videos. They don't tell you nothing. They just disappear. Well, you know, we all know about um, African Export. She was one of them. But I'm starting to notice just a few other um, YouTubers just falling off. I don't know if it's because of the numbers or it's because it's just they're burnt out or simply just not interested. You get tired of trying to keep up with the numbers and trying to keep up with the hype and the competition and stuff. You just be like, forget it. I get like that sometimes too, especially when my numbers don't look right. But I've never been a high viewed video, never been a high, uh, a high su subscriber, subscriber based channel anyway. So yeah, it gets kind of, you get kind of used to it. But some people actually walk away from the, what we think is a booming channel. We don't know what's going on behind the screen sometimes. Look at this little boo. So now we get into the, to the easy part, which is my sides. So this is easier, and then my crown is the easiest. Little birdie. 
What are you making all that noise for? You disturbing my takedown. You disturbing my takedown. And since I don't want to take a long time, I am going to keep it moving real quick. Little birdie, you see the little birdie? No, my camera got them bleached out. But that's all grass back there. My camera bleached the... Oh, that's... oh it's because of the sunlight. Guys, I was trying to face the camera another direction, but when I had it facing, going this way, I was completely blacked out. This camera I got here is my Canon T5i. It doesn't have a lot of high dynamic range. It has low, low pixels. It's a very old camera, but I find myself using it a whole lot. Uh oh, I guess, oh, I thought she was going in the house. I still, I still use it, although it's a outdated, it's not outdated, it's an old camera, but it's reliable and it's convenient and it's easy. And the lens I'm using is the 18 to 35 Sigma lens. What is it? Yeah, 18 to 35. So it makes this camera look a whole lot better. Guys, they be racing on my street all the time. All the time. And when the virus was popping and they told us to stay in that house, I ain't hear nobody. I was happy. All right, so we got that. I was happy. I said, ooh, quiet and peace. Look at these little flats. Do I want to go back here? Or do I want to go? Ooh, naughty ball. Or oh, naughty ball. So I'm feeling better since my greasy meltdown. I have a lot of greasy meltdowns. You just don't see it. But I don't put grease on my face. I just have meltdowns. And that's that's what anything I do. If I get frustrated with something, I'll start lashing out and having behavior problems. Behavior problems are not good. Because, you know, they say, you know, that kind of behavior don't, get, behavior don't get you anywhere. Yes, it does make me feel better when I tear up stuff. <laughs> when I lash out. And speak my mind how I really feel. Yes, I do feel better. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say, baby. Has anybody seen my mama's baby? Has anybody seen my baby girl? Honey, she over there just a sniffing. And a sniffing and a sniffing. And a sniffing and a sniffing and a sniffing. Oh, when I do this, you can see me. But when I go like that, you can't see me. When I go like this, you can see me. I should remix that. Mm. This is the little kinky part back here, so this hair tends to mat a little bit tighter. So I'm, take, so I'm going to take some water, mist it so it can make it a little bit looser. Whoa. Got to make sure I start at the ends. I don't know why we always trying to start a little bit higher. As long as I st start at the end, life will be so much easier. Hey, girl. All right, guys, so tell me in the comment section, what are you doing today? Because this is probably the most boring video ever. I've got some boring videos. You know what? The videos I think are boring, you guys don't think. And the ones I think that um, is exciting, you all don't think they're exciting. I think it's just personal preference and what you like and what you enjoy. I was going to do a live video yesterday, but my friend came over and we hung out for a little while. I don't really think I felt like doing a live video anyway. Because I would have, could have went on and did it anyway. Eh, I don't know. But I got some real cool plans for myself. 
June 1st will be here in a couple of days. So I'll be officially retired from my job one month, uh, starting June 1st. And one thing about retirement, it's really, really nice. Uh, but when it comes to looking at your bank account, you don't see your checks come in like every week. Mine used to come in every week. That's that's kind of throwing me off a little. <laughs> ooh, that's throwing me off a little bit. I'm like, ooh, your account is too quiet. So I wanted peace and quiet. I got it all right. But my bank account is quiet too. So I got some plans for some more. Oh, I need my I need my account to be going ding ding ding. So I got some plans on how I'm going to get it to ding. But I just needed some. I needed a reset. So I got I got some plans now. At first I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's the old one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna care about what I want to do. One thing I don't want to do is customer service anymore. Don't even want to do transportation for real. But if I can do transportation without being around a bunch of people, I'll be happy. I can't do people like that no more. Can't do customer service. Can't do front line. Don't want to. Don't want to have. Don't want to have a conversation with nobody about nothing. I don't want to do money exchanges. I know mind games come with having a job. I can. I can do that a little bit, but I can't do that too much either. And I don't even need to make a lot of money if I decide to go back to work or whenever I decide to go back to work. I don't need to make a lot of money. I got money coming in my account every month if I don't do nothing. And I like that. But I can't, I can't, uh, mm, the puppet on the string stuff right now, I can't do the puppet on the string. Obeying rules and uh-uh. I ain't got time. <laughs> I don't have time or the patience right now to care about nothing when it comes to no stupid job right now. So I'm finally getting to a point where I can talk about my job without getting angry and cussing. And I'm really, really adjusting. Uh, slowly, but I'm adjusting. I didn't, um, I lost weight in the beginning of my retirement and now I gained uh, all the weight back plus some. So I'm going through ups and downs with the weight thing, with everything. So, so I was just telling myself, don't be hard on yourself. Right now you're going through a transitional period. Just be patient. So I'm just gonna ride it out. So hopefully by the end of June, I'll know how to be a retiree. I don't know how to re be a retiree right now. That's what it is. Going from working and driving a bus for 28 years to not working, it's, uh, it's an adjustment. I'm getting there though. I am getting there. I'm talking to friends and family more. I'm more apt to wanna be around people. I feel happier. I feel way happier. I don't feel so heavy. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about my happiness. <laughs> I'm happy about my happiness. Now, where is this going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Who you loving? Who you want to be hugging? All right. You're supposed to go back here, too. And I like that I'm not on a schedule. That's another reason why I've been posting videos at strange times, because I don't feel like being on no schedule right now. Just let me be. Let me be. Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. How many more we got? Three. We got three. This this is another hard section right here. So maybe I'll do that last. Maybe I'll do that last. So now I have to incorporate exercise and dieting. I have to start a new eat eating regimen. I get this weight off me. I gotta get this uh, my uh, get this skin together. And one thing I don't want to do, I don't want to go back to work overweight and heavy like I am. I want this bus driver mentality off of me fully before I even go back to work. Yep. And being a bus driver was cool for the time I was there. But I just want to I just want a, a reset on everything. So yep, that's what I've been doing. Resetting, resetting, resetting. So this is easy hair, guys. This is three category. What my, I was gonna say passengers. What my uh, 
followers. Viewers were saying that this hair is in the three category. So this is way easier to comb through. It should be easy selling. It's got some four in it too. It's got some four tight hair in here. But I know when I get to the front, it's easy breezy from that point on. Ouch. Those roots, no, they be nappy. It's the nappy roots. It's the nappy roots. The pick is a really good thing to have in my stash. I don't know about you, but I love having a pick. All right, we got that one. That didn't take no time, did it? 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 Did it, did it. it didn't take no time. Okay, we got that right there. I'm just gonna go on and knock out this little front so it can make me feel like I'm moving fast. Such a beautiful day in your neighborhood. A beautiful day in your neighborhood. Are you taking down your braids? Let me know if you're taking down your braids. Take down your braids with me. Hoo, 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 hoo. Take down your braids. Hey, you know what? <laughs> that noise reminded me of the, uh, of the bus. My job stopped letting buses come down my street. Do you know that was the best thing they could have ever done for me? <laughs> they stopped taking, they stopped letting buses come down my street like back in September of 2019. Here it is, uh, May 30th, 2020. And I was kind of bummed out because I'm like, if I really wanted to, to catch a bus, I can't catch one. Although I don't need one, I got two, I got two vehicles. But like, say for instance, I wanted to, like around the corner, I could take my, I can take my car around the corner to the shop and if I don't want to wait for it, I can just catch the bus back home real quick. Although I can, although I can really walk. I can't even, I don't even have the option to catch a bus. Cause you, although you got two cars, you can't drive both of them at the same time. So if I have to take one to the shop and I want to get back home, I can't even catch the bus. <laughs> but now since I'm retired, I'm happy. I don't, I'm happy that I don't, I don't even have to see no bus. See how things work out? Just never know. Take out the little extra hair right here. Just never know how life benefits you in the end. Just the easy hair, guys. Hmm. Somebody said to me one time, or asked me one time, if you had a choice. Which, because you know, we most of us most of us have different hair textures and patterns in our in our head. Somebody said, if you had a choice, which hair pattern or section would you like to have the most? And I wish I would I would rather have this hair throughout my whole head because it's way easier to deal with. But I'm thankful for all my textures in my hair. Cause my hair uh, is loose, loose kinky in the front, then loose, loose, loose in the front, 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 and then medium kinky on the sides and kinky, kinky in the back, which per, which ends up allowing me to have a bob. My hair bobs in its kinky natural state, which is cool. But when I straight it out, you don't really see the bob because the back be so drawed up. All right, guys, we got one more section to go after this one. And I am excited. I am on my last section. Oh, here we go with the tightness. Hope I'm not spraying my lens. Or the, hope, hopefully the wind is not blowing the water on my lens.
we just gonna go through it like this. Here comes somebody coming up the street. I'm gonna have this braid down before they come up here. I don't want them saying, look at that ghetto girl back there in her y'all wet. Taking down her braids. What's she doing? What's that thing she doing? Minding my business. There is something on my table. Who asked? Go away. Who asked you? I think it was freaking cricket or something. So my hair is trying to knot up a little bit in that little one section. We missed it with some water. Make sure the cap is on tight. Here comes that guy. Oh no, he's going the other way. Yay! So glad he's going the other way. I don't feel like even looking like I have to explain myself to him about what I'm doing. There go the doggies, they barking at him. Who is it, Shay Shay? So we're all done, guys. Look at that, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, this is part of my three section hair too, so that's why it's easier. I thought it had more of the fourness back there. All right, guys, so we are done. This is, my, this is what my hair looks like so far. Take down these clamps. See what's going on. I'm so glad I ain't gotta have my air on, guys. One last twist. One last twist. So I'm gonna show you my hair that I just combed out the dead hair. Uh, I'm gonna show you the dead hair and ugliness. When you don't shampoo your hair enough, you'll see some gross stuff in your hair. So it's good to shampoo your hair more often. So I'm going to try to start um, shampooing my hair. Well, I've been doing it though, like every three weeks at the max. And every once in a while I may slip to four weeks, but Every two to four weeks, I've been shampooing my hair. But I'm looking at this, I don't know if you guys can see, but this has yuckness in it. I can see Shay Shay's hair, my hair, with gray strands in it and lint and yuck balls. All right, so yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this boring video. If it's boring to you, let me know. If it's not boring, uh, let me know. Thumbs up the video, thumbs it down, or whatever it is you, that you do. And yeah, I am going to go in the house and edit this video right quick. No, I'm not. I'm just, I think I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to leave as much as possible on here. And that's it. Shay Shay, come here, girl. You want to come say, come here. You know what? She is so sad. She, she, when she knows I want her to come, she takes her time. Come on, little girl. Come on up here. Come on up. Oh, shoot. There she is, guys. Here. Say hi. Yep, guys, so that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Oh, and don't forget to send in your, your, uh, don't forget to send in your natural hair t-shirt or your shirt that you use on Saturdays or around the house. I hope I'm not blurred out. I hope I'm not blurred out. Am I blurred out? Yeah. Ooh, boots. Yeah. So don't forget to send in your shirt. And then I'll show them in the upcoming video. All right. Bye, guys. Mm hmm.